In this example, I'll demonstrate the functions that can be performed using Animator or the Motion Study in a part file. First, I'm going to go to my Motion Study tab. And the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is the Animation Wizard. Up here on my Motion Toolbar, I'm going to press this icon. And we see that it doesn't allow me to do much except for rotate the model. I'm going to go ahead and select Next. Leave it at the Y axis with one rotation. Select Next. By default, it wants me to start at zero time and play for 10 seconds. I'm going to start this at one second and play it for five seconds. I'm going to go ahead and hit Finish. And we see that it placed my first orientation key on one second and ended at six seconds playing the five second animation. If I play from start, we see that it simply rotates the model. Now if you noticed, instead of having a start and an ending key, it has placed keys along the way. Animator will play from key to key in a straight line, so it's necessary to have segments to get it to go in a circle. Now I don't like the orientation that it has placed for the rotation, so I'm going to get rid of these keys simply by window selecting them and hitting the delete key. Now this bar right here is the time bar. Wherever I place this time bar and make any changes, it'll always track those changes to the time bar. So I want to change my view orientation, so I'll put the time bar at zero seconds, and we notice by the orientation category here, it has a symbol that won't allow me to make any changes. I'm going to right click and deselect the disable view key creation and now as it changed it to a telescope saying that I can make view changes. So I'm going to hit my spacebar and set this to my right plane and so then I'm going to move my time bar to two seconds hit my spacebar and set this to the top plane and we see that now as I drag my time bar it moves in as, as in linear as it can from the right to the top now once these keys are created I can drag them to new times to lengthen or shorten the animation and as you notice I dragged from the beginning to give it some start time before it plays I go ahead and hit play Once I have my views set out, I can again right click and disable view key creation. So as I'm doing other functions in the part, I can move and it will not track any view changes. Now I'm going to right click the motion study tab, create a new motion study. And this time I will demonstrate a light change. Now I have added an extra spotlight to this part. I'm going to go ahead and drag my time bar up to five seconds. I'm going to change the position of a spotlight. Now along the spotlight I don't want it to start at zero seconds. I'm going to have it start at two seconds so I line my cursor up at two seconds behind the spotlight, right click and say place key. This will give me another starting key point and as long as my time bar is after when I make a change it'll track from this key to that time bar. Simply right click go to properties of the spotlight and I'm just going to rotate around to show you the spotlight here. I'm going to go in the properties of the spotlight and change its rotational position. Go to the top and accept the changes. And we see it has drawn a new bar stating that there has been a change. Now in this example we can see some different lighting effects change as I play through this animation. Nothing too drastic, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go over to my PhotoWorks toolbar, render the first part of it, and we see that it does show shadows now using PhotoWorks that we don't get before. And now I'm going to move my time bar again hit render one more time
and we see that the shadow position has changed. Another thing you can do with motion study is change sketch dimensions. Take note that I am currently editing the sketch. Once I go to my motion study tab I do see that I do have a sketch in the tree and the icon is currently showing that I'm editing it. Now I'm going to drag my time bar out. I'm going to right click and place a new key at one second. And if I hover over that key we notice that it gives me all the dimensions that are in my sketch showing what, what will be tracked. So I'm going to go ahead and double click my two inch dimensions, put it to a 0.25 and we see the dimension changed and it has tracked that dimension change. So as I drag my time bar we see that the sketch can change. I'm going to again place a key here at six seconds drag this to eight seconds and now make two dimension changes and we see that those dimension changes will happen at the same time so if I play from the beginning now for example purposes I'm going to accept this sketch so currently I'm out of this sketch and I'm going to play from the beginning again. We notice if I'm not in the sketch, no change has been made to the sketch. So for this functionality to work, we have to be editing the sketch when we make the changes.